Hello everyone, welcome back to engineering chemistry class. Today we will discuss unit 3, corrosion science and engineering. Corrosion is one of the most significant problems faced by advanced industrial societies. Corrosion occurs in most of the metals. It may be iron or copper or even zinc. In case of iron, there will be a formation of a reddish scale of hydrated ferric oxide on the surface of iron that usually we call them as rusting of iron when it exposed to moist air. In case of uh, copper, there will be a formation of green film of basic carbonates when it exposed to air containing carbon dioxide. Corrosion is quite common in most of the industries, example chemical industries. Corrosion occurs even in car as well as computer parts also. Corrosion loss Though corrosion is slow, occurs only on the surface of metals, but the losses occur due to corrosion is enormous because losses occurring due to corrosion cannot be measured in terms of metals alone, but we have to consider the cost of fabrication and other factors also. It is estimated that around 8% of the steel production world 8 8 percentage of the steel production is used to replace only corroded article. Corrosion loss is enormous. If you consider it with respect to indirect loss, a loss of useful property of a metal and result in loss of efficiency. In case of chemical industries, there will be a decrease in the production rate due to low efficiency of plants and replacement of corroded equipment is time consuming also. Appearance wise, on rusting, painted automobiles are not pleasing to the eye and it leads to poor impression for the observer, result in loss of selling value of an article or automobile. So these factors which made us for an engineer to understand the mechanism of corrosion. Moreover, he or she, they will able to avoid corrosion conditions and provide simultaneously production against corrosion. That is why people has to read corrosion chapter properly. This reaction is with respect to corrosion it is. When a metal iron before undergoing corrosion it has a characteristic characters like malleability, ductility and lustrous nature. The moment when it undergo corrosion it loses its characteristic property. It loses its ductility or thermal ability, thermal resistance, even conducting nature also. In other way before corrosion, metal is let us take metal is in 5 gram. This reaction corresponds to rusting of iron. Before metal undergoing corrosion, it has characteristic characters like malleability, ductility, and lustrous nature. These characteristic property will last by the metal when it undergo corrosion it is. If you look at the reaction carefully, without oxygen iron will not undergo corrosion. Here suitable medium is required to undergo corrosion. As well as corrosion is an oxidation process. As you can see in the reaction there is a change in the oxidation number of the iron from 0 to plus 3 it is. In other way, before undergoing corrosion metal, let us take metal is in 5 gram. After corrosion, we can't get 5 gram. It get deteriorated. Deteriorated means state of going worst. So based on these observations, we can define corrosion as corrosion is the destruction or deterioration and consequent loss. Every time the metal loses its first layer, second layer like that. Corrosion is the destruction and consequent loss of a metal or an alloy due to chemical or electrochemical attack on its surface by suitable environment. Without suitable environment, the metal will not undergo corrosion. Now let us understand what is the reason behind corrosions. Metals are usually metals are thermodynamically stable. Now let us understand the reason behind corrosion. Metals are thermodynamically unstable and found to 
abundantly in nature. These metals available in the nature in the form of either combined state or like hydrated oxide or carbonate or sulphates. During the extraction of metals in metallurgical process, NIG is supplied to get into the metal. So naturally they are in unstable states. Whenever chances will be there, most of the metals occur in the nature in common states, that is stable states, as in the form of carbonates or oxides or sulphides, etc. Extracting a metals from these states, that is metallurgical process, involves addition of large amount of energy. The metals thus obtained will have a tendency to get into the lower energy states whenever an opportunity arises. As lower energy state is a stable state, hence they tend to get converted into the compounds that is by undergoing corrosion, nothing but your corrosion product. This is the reason behind corrosion. Now let us understand the types of corrosion. Dry corrosion. This type of corrosion occurs when there is no contact of moisture or water for the corrosion to occur. It may be by oxygen or it may be by gases like sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide or hydrogen sulfides. The first one, corrosion by oxygen, it is also called as oxidative corrosion. This type of corrosion occurs when direct attack of oxygen on the surface of metal without the help of a moisture or water. Second one, dry corrosion. It mainly occurs through the direct chemical action of atmospheric gases such as oxygen, halogens or hydrogen sulphide or sulphur dioxide or NOx. Wet corrosion. As the name indicates, this type of corrosion occurs in presence of moisture. Without moisture, without moisture, this type of corrosion will not occur. This is quite common in our daily life. What we observed, the corrosion types, no? this is mainly due to wet corrosion.